so much. And I don't know what happened. He just... I... I... Hey, what's going on, Chris? Dude, Parker, you died who? Oh, I died so bad. That Zerker, that D-leveled one with the aggressor title. I thought you could me. handle him. Oh, I thought I could too, but his resists were insane. I, I was talking to him and tells he said his resists were all over 250. Oh, my. All right. Well, I guess let's go. Let's okay. go rip it up. See you, buddy. See you later, dude. Ever since, as long as I can remember, when I first had that Nintendo Entertainment Center controller in my hand playing Mega Man Final Fantasy, my life completely changed. I went from a fun-loving mama's boy into a remorseless, arrogant, pain-in-the-butt to my family. Moved on to Final Fantasy 3. Then, when the PlayStation came out, moved on to the Final Fantasy 7s, etc. Soon enough, a genre of video games came out called uh, Massive Multiplayer Online Role-Playing Games. I became a practitioner of these. An MMORPG is a massive multiplayer online RPG, which consists of you becoming another character and going through dungeons and acquiring items and making new friends along the way. An MMORPG is addictive because there's no end and you have to spend countless hours to get the results you want. Needless to say, I was the master in this town of EverQuest. That's all I cared about because that's all there is to care about in this life. And needless to say, I almost dropped out of high school. Oh, die! <laughs> Zelda, you are a son of a gun. What do you want? I'm playing EverQuest. Come on, Parker, open up. I gotta get in there. I gotta see what you're doing. I might get PvP'd. I'm in over there right now. Don't get PK'd, man. You can't die. This is my good friend, Parker Thomas, who is also a hardcore gamer. As you can see, he is uh, engrossed in EverQuest. Hey, Parker. Hey. And uh, no matter what I do, he'll just be stuck to this game, and uh, I really can't get him to do much else. Well, I moved here about when I was probably seven. I've known him ever since and I'm 18 now. Well, I've noticed that my addiction to EverQuest is so great that I don't really hang out with my friends that much. I mean, I go outside and hang out with them for five minutes or so, smoke a cigarette with them or something. And then my eating, well, I eat a lot of candy so it's kind of got me out of shape and I don't know whenever I want to go to work now I always think about I always consider about calling in sick so I can try and get level 57 on my shaman without dying I went to high school at Simon Farrier and uh, he denies that he's a gamer but he stays up till 2 in the morning playing games I guess I've been playing since I was three years old, and I've been playing pretty much ever since. What keeps you addicted to video games? Like I said before, Joe, it's not an addiction. I play games because they're fun. But I find hardcore gamers to play all the time, and I don't play all the time. How many video games do you have? About 30 to 35. How do you know Chris Plata? We used to be in classmates at Newark Valley. Guess I'm coming upstairs. Yeah, Even if we get kicked out, we're going to play our video games. This is us taking TVs all the way through the field in the winter to Adam's house just to play some Halo. Alright guys, come around the end. And I'll well, well, Nick was shooting me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stupid, you did it! Stupid. Surprisingly enough, you may think I'm the biggest nerd in the world, but it's not the fact. I like to snowboard. 
I work up at Greek Peak as a snowboard instructor to fund my video game needs. A snowboard needs a lot of work, but I like to spend my money on new computer parts, new video games, things necessary for a guy like me to continue owning noobs with such amazing and impeccable efficiency.